Optometry's manufacturing technologies explained. Selective laser sintering. Selective laser sintering 3D printing is one of the most widely used industrial additive manufacturing processes due to its ability to produce strong, functional parts. SLS printers use a high power laser to sinter polymer powder, usually nylon, into a solid structure within an inert gas heated chamber. The chamber's temperature during the printing process is slightly below or precisely at the melting point of the raw material to make it easier to solidify the part. Typically, the powder is distributed layer by layer at 100 microns by a recoating device and sintered by a laser guided through a mirror controlled by a galvo motor. The build chambers of most industrial SLS printers can process parts up to 340 by 340 by 600 millimeters. The largest chambers can handle parts up to 380 by 580 by 700 millimeters. SLS offers the following advantages. It requires no support structures because the unmelted powder supports the parts during printing. As a result, support structures don't need to be removed after printing. Parts have a very consistent surface finish and you can produce parts with complex geometries. Another major advantage of SLS is that you can print parts in batches, which saves you time and money. You can nest your parts and fill the whole build chamber with them as little as two millimeters apart from each other. If you're considering using SLS for your next project, it's also important to know about the disadvantages of the process. As a result of the heat from the laser, thin walls may thicken and thin gaps may close, leading to potential inaccuracies in your final product. Text smaller than 0.5 millimeters 0.020 inches may wash out. There may be some inaccessible areas and confined hollows that cannot be cleaned of excess powder. One of the main problems that can occur with SLS is that large flat surfaces are prone to warping, so you should avoid them in your designs. Support ribs may solve this problem, but not always. The most common material for SLS 3D printing is nylon, which refers to the group of plastics known as polyamides. Nylon is ideal for complex assemblies and strong parts with high environmental resistance. SLS 3D printed nylon parts are strong, rigid and durable. Various grades of PA12 are resistant to UV, light, heat, moisture, water and solvents. Some of them are also biocompatible and non-sensitizing. SLS printers can also print with other materials, such as polypropylene or thermoplastic polyurethane. SLS parts in their as-printed state have several characteristics. Matte and sugar cube-like grainy surface. They are considered near-net shape, meaning they require less post-processing work. Good detail resolution. The matte and grainy surface of SLS parts is generally considered a desirable characteristic for some applications. However, if you need to achieve a smoother and more polished surface, you can use several finishing techniques. Bead blasting to depowder the parts and achieve a satin-like matte appearance. Media tumbling to get a similar appearance but smoother surface. Chemical vapour smoothing to achieve the smoothest and glossiest result. If the white or grey powder colour is unsuitable, you can colour your parts using dyeing. Let's recap what we've learned from this video. SLS 3D printed parts are strong and functional. SLS printing does not require support material and allows you to print complex designs. SLS printing enables the use of the entire build chamber to produce multiple parts in a single run, which makes production more cost effective. In the next video from this series, we would talk about DMLS, a great technology for complex metal parts.